So in the last video, um, I unwrapped this Sony Walkman WM-EX610 uh, cassette player. Quite a nice one. Got it very cheap off of eBay because it hadn't been tested. And I put a battery in it and it did play for a little while. But now when you play it, nothing happens because the belt has finally given up the ghost. So I ordered a new belt. And now we have the new belt, I'm going to have, have a go at putting a replacement belt in this. Uh, it's going to be a bit difficult because I've never repaired one of these before. Normally I do the shoot the video while I'm looking at the screen on the phone. Um, but it's going to be a bit too difficult to do that. So I'm sitting behind the tripod and it's a bit tricky, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to use this massive screwdriver. To open this up I've had a look online and I've got the um, tear down, tear down uh, the sort of engineers manual for it which allows you to take it to pieces but it's not really clear on whether this clip needs to be pulled off or not so I've got to be super careful I'm gonna use this too big screwdriver bit I think I'm going to have to take the battery cover off as well, thinking about it. Just check they all look the same size. Yeah, they do. This was very stiff when I first got it and I've used all sorts of things to loosen it off again. Give it a good clean up now. How do we I've seen people get these off on YouTube videos, but I don't know. Oh there we go. Oops. I've never done one myself, so let's see if this works. You gotta pull angle that up. Oh there you go, that was easy. Okay, so now I think it gets angled up like this. Ah, there we go. Now having angled that up, I can see the belt. We've got to then get this over the volume rocker. Oh, there we go. That's the inside where the buttons are. Now I assumed the belt were broken. But it's still attached. So I guess what we're going to do is put a battery in and see what happens. So I put the cassette in and it finished. And that's really weird because the belt is spinning, but it's just going backwards and forwards with as if it's as if the cassette's not turning. And the belt there is fucking around a bit, so maybe it has stretched. Oh yeah, the belt didn't didn't spin there, did it? Okay, so how do I know whether this belt has stretched? And how do I know whether this belt, which doesn't seem very stretchy, is going to be any better? So what I'm going to do is replace it anyway, since I've got the thing out. So let's put that to one side. Now with this one, let's get the battery out. And the headphones. 
Now what I have seen is when you undo this, you're supposed to then unsolder like a billion points on here to get this part off because under there, I don't know whether you can see that, I can't just slip the belt under because this metal part is in the way. So lift this up so I can get the belt in underneath there. So that's what I'm going to have a go at doing. And it's going to be very difficult with only two hands. So I'll belt out. Okay, that was hard work. Right, let's have a go see so if this is working a little bit more, a little bit better now. And very helpfully, so only put play on there and stop and fast forward and rewind. So we go. Actually, I'm going to do fast forward first. So that was flapping around earlier on for fast forward. God, that sounds good. Don't remember cassette sounding this good before. God. <laughs> Here's Gary's disc one from a CD. Now I don't think I had any clue back in the day, but this cassette is just a standard box standard cassette. God, that sounds good. There's no Dolby or anything. I mean, this this is capable of Dolby, but that, you can't hear it. So I don't know why I'm waffling. So I reckon that's done. So I'm going to just stop that now. Let's just uh, test these out. So that's forward skip. Actually, I think this is um, this is uh, has no gaps in between tracks. So that's not going to work, is it? So let's put the other tape in. In my brain then, I went through mini disc and CD before I got to tape. So that's a pre-recorded one, which sounded pretty awful before. The, in fact, the tape on this I got from eBay is all chewed up. I don't know whether you can see it. The edges are all wrinkled. Let's have a go, see what it sounds like. Here we go forwards, We're almost at the end of that track. Go play. Let's go back. Assume that's back, was that forwards? Oh, that's rewind, that's right. So that takes us back. That's re, um, rewind search, back search, back skip, whatever you call it, that's it. So that's skipping back to the um, gap between tracks found it exactly. This cassette doesn't sound as good so I'm going to go forwards now.
Brilliant, so let's find the beginning of that track. Or did it go all the way back? God, it's loud. So I'm very pleased with that. That's a fix. First belt I've ever changed. A bit fiddly, but really not that difficult. Excellent, very pleased with that. I'm going to put it all back together and make sure it's still working. So let's bring, bring it all back together. So we, get this, so we have to put it over the edge here. Now there is the little switch. So what you've got to do is line up this hold switch. So I'm going to pull it down. And then this just flaps about. So this bit's got to be down as well, otherwise they don't match up. Make sure that works, yep, make sure that spins freely. Bung one of those in there. Press the button. Put a battery in it. Press the button. Forward. Rewind. Keep it spinning, I'm not sure whether you can see it. The other thing is, the spool doesn't match up with the window. But if it did, it would be offset. Good. Excellent. Right, let's put this battery cover back on. Now we have a problem that this is not making a very good connection. Now it seems to be fine now. So what I'm going to do now is find a cassette that I want to listen to which isn't a bit chewed up at the ends and at the edges, see that it's all on that edge there. So this is just one I bought cheap off of eBay. So I'll, I'll dig through my old cassettes and see if I can find one of better quality than this and, uh, and give it a listen and see whether it sounds all right. I haven't lubricated the mechanism or anything but the belt is assuming to be better than it was. So sorry it hasn't been one of the most interesting videos for you, but hopefully you find it uh, a good way to pass the time. So thanks for watching. Actually a little update on this. Now I bought this for um, £10 and £3 shipping. I paid about £6 including £7 including delivery for the, uh, for the belt. And it does have um, Dolby 
Dolby uh, B and automatic uh, volume limited system and but it didn't come with a an inline remote like you get with most mini discs it didn't come with that which is not a problem because it's still all the play controls but there's no way to turn on I've got to put the screws back in I didn't know that there's no way to turn on the um, Dolby so I've actually got uh, a Denon cassette recorder with Dolby on it which I could record some Dolby tracks um, or tracks using Dolby but I've got no way to turn it on so I wonder if anybody knows if there's a way or if there's like an aftermarket I don't suppose there is an aftermarket remote for this or indeed what the remote um, the uh, model number was for the remote and maybe I can pick one up cheap but meanwhile decent little cassette player does everything I want it to do so thanks again there's going to be a ton of editing in this, I'll tell you.